there are some people in Washington who are doing their best to do a good job. And I would say that Katie Porter is one of them. She's gone viral quite a few times um, with, uh, you know, when she questions, uh, questioning people and she, she comes there with the receipts. Like she comes there, she brings, you know, her dry razor board. And she is, uh, she's always coming to, to, to take someone to task. So take a look at Katie talking to Mark Alice, who is a former big farm pharma CEO. Number is? Oh, I does it ring I any bells? But I, I think you're referring to my compensation in some way. How did the drug improve? If I were to look at a pill and analyze it from 2005, when it cost 215, and I was looked today at, at when it cost 763, would that pill be the same? I understand your question about the pill. The pill, the manufacturing for it would be the same. Any increase in the price of Revlimid would also increase your bonus by increasing earnings. Isn't that right, Mr. Ellis? If revenues increased and expenses did not, then earnings would be enhanced. And Thank you. Do you know how much you personally received in bonuses over two years, the last two years, just because Celgene raised the price of this one drug, Revlimid? I receive very generous compensation, but I don't know the exact number that you're referring to. In fact, you personally received half of a, half a million dollars personally just by tripling the price of Revlimid. The drug didn't get any better. The cancer patients didn't get any better. You just got better at making money. You just refined your skills at price gouging. So, I, uh, you know, I think it's important to point out the people who are trying because there are some people who are really um, trying. And she's always, every time that I've seen her, um, you know, when she's trending, I, she's she's holding somebody and taking them to task. I think it's important. Someone sent me a message the other day on so, uh, on social media asking me, um, what do I think is the biggest problem with our political system? And I will continue to say to those of you who think that I am trying to turn America into communism as if I had that kind of power, <laughs> is that they the capitalism is goes hand in hand with white supremacy. And the reason why our country is out of control is because the corporations are running it. And Big Pharma has a lot to do with why this country lacks the balance and uh, the nurturing that it needs for its people. So that is in one example of the, mis, uh, the gross misuse of power and dollars that people who are desperate um, for medication with ha and having health issues are used as pawns in a game to provide these people with a lifestyle that many of us will never see. Yep, and that's, especially with, <clears throat> as we were talking about earlier, when we said that, like when they infected people with syphilis and then we're trying to act like it's so out of the world for them to do devious, devious shit, that's devious. And you know, my mother was a survivor and now she's battling it again that medication has gone up tremendously. And if she wasn't still working, like I wish she would retire, but thank God she's still working because it's covered. She has a pill that costs, I want to say like $200 per pill that she has to take. Like this is, you have to take it to get better. And it, it's, it's disgusting. And thank God for her and her whiteboard calling them out. Man, um, her whiteboard, and when she shows up with that whiteboard, you, you're in trouble. You're red. <laughs> not giving her kids at home for this bullshit. 